One prerequisite skill that you need in an algebra class is you need to know how to take percentages, convert them into decimal form. Why? Well, because you're gonna learn how to do things with compound interest, exponential growth rate, exponential decay. And what you're gonna to be told is, hey, this business is growing at 8% annually. Okay, well, 8% needs to be converted into decimals in order to plug that into your formulas. So how do you take a percentage and convert it to a decimal? This was my entry test today to make sure my kids know how to do it. It's quite simple. Take the number, write the number down. Ask yourself where the decimal would be in 38. The number 38 would have a decimal right there after the eight. So I look there where the decimal would be and I wanna move it one, two spaces back. So it would end up right there. 0.38 is the same thing as 38%, because 38% is 38% out of 100%. What does that mean? 38 hundredths. If you just remove those percentages, if we take percents, right, we're talking about how much out of a total, well, a total is 100%. 38 hundredths, let's think back to our place values. This is the tenths place, and this is the hundredths place. That is why moving it back to place values fixes it from a percentage and converts it into a decimal. Okay, so let's just practice that skill. There are two down here that do cause issues with kids. So 149, I just tell them, write the number down, 149. Ask yourself where the decimal would be on that number. It'd be after the nine. So if I move it back, one, two places, we see that it should fall between the one and the four. So I just erase and put the decimal between one and four. 1 1.49 or one and 49 hundredths, okay? Because we have more than 100% here. 63, I write the number down, 63%. Converts by taking the decimal, which would be after the three, and moving it back to place values. 0 0.63 or 63 hundredths is the value there. This is where it gets tricky, I guess, and some kids struggle with it. But if we just follow the rule that I taught you, move the decimal back to place values, it's quite simple. What's the number? Four, put a four down. Where's the decimal with four? Right there. Move it back, how many? Two, one, two. A lot of times kids will say, 4% is 0.4. No, it's not. That's moving the decimal back one. But if we move back two, you're going to get 0.04 or 4 hundredths. So your correct answer, 4% is 0 0.04. 4.5%. 4.5%. Very clear that the decimal is in between the four and the five there. Move it one, two places back. Put the decimal down. Fill in that empty wave with a zero and you are converting percents to decimals in no time. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.